Yeah, so uh, this weekend sees the Super League Grand Final, um, the 20th anniversary. Um, I was there in 1998, the first one, which um, was a change from the old format, which was a sort of first past the post to this new format. And everybody, you know, was quite, uh, I, I suppose, uh, a bit cautious about what, you know, what this new system would bring and whether it would work. And I mean, I can just remember being a Wigan player, we're in another final. And, you know, this was the first of something, the inaugural grand final. Um, we were up against Leeds and, and we just wanted to make an impact and, and be the, the winners of the first tournament. And, you know, I always remember that night, <sighs> dearie me, um, you know, it was, uh, it was a Saturday night. The weather was awful. It was lashing it down. Um, there was 43,000 people, I think, but, uh, but it was at the Theatre of Dreams. So I think this was a new format, but it was being played at a place that everybody wanted to play at. You know, we know the history of, of Man United and Old Trafford. Um, so to be the first team that was there for this competition um, with Leeds, you know, we knew it was going to be quite special. And I remember just, just the game itself, you know, you had a very, very tough um, Leeds team. Um, Leeds was my hometown club, so I always wanted to, to do well against Leeds. And I remember them getting off to a good start through Richie Blackmore, uh, Big Richie scored uh, the first try and there, there wasn't really much in it between the two teams to be honest with you and uh, I can remember Chris Radlinski just taking um, taking a ball in and ended up so about 20 metres out on the on the right hand side and I just went in there as I would normally do into dummy half and um, there was nothing on so I was just trying to bring it back in field and you know because of the way I played, I was always looking at somebody just jumping out the line, and um, you knew there was always a forward that I just wanted to uh, to give it to you. And for me, um, you know, I was kind of went across, probing the line, and I just split second, just putting a bit of a step, and I can remember just getting on the edge of uh, Darren Fleury, who I've seen recently and <laughs> said I ruined his career, but um, for me it was just kind of instinctive, and, and I managed just to, to skip round uh, uh, yesterday and go under the, the post for the for the score, which put us in front, and Andy Farrell on the night was, uh, was at his brilliant best and kicked a few goals, so it was a real, real close game that night, but you know, for me as a as a winger, you know, scoring tries is, is what you do and in those games you don't get many opportunities. So for me to get that opportunity against my my hometown club, the club that at the time didn't didn't want me, I went over to Wigan and you know it's brilliant just to, uh, to to scoot under that um, under the post, get the try, and managed to get man of the match as well. So to to, to be in there, to be the first team, um, you know, was was an amazing feeling and just picking up that trophy at Old Trafford with your teammates, you know, against a very tough tough Leeds team was uh, was 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 an amazing feeling and just to see how it's come on over the years, you know, there were there were a lot of doubters, you know, will this is is this you know what we really want because um, rugby league has been criticised over the years for you know bringing things in and then you know not not quite working but you know hats off to them because I think in this instance you know the grand final now has gone on from strength to strength and you know you, you, there's been some real classic games over the years and uh, you know we've seen some fantastic rugby being played and, and now you look at this as a, as a sporting event not just a rugby event but a sporting event and this is one of those events that everybody wants to be at. You know, it's a, it's in a special place. You normally get, you know, two of um, Super League's best teams. And again, we we we're normally treated to some some fantastic games in front of sellout crowds, seventy odd thousand people. So, you know, for me, it's it's probably looking back on my career. You know, the grand final uh, as an event has certainly been up there with some of my biggest achievements and you know on the sort of eve of you know 20 years of the grand finals I look back with some 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 great memories and I know you know lots of people look back and think wow you know this this is we've got great memories of playing there but also this is the you know this is the tournament that everybody wants to be in you know you want to end up at the end of the year playing in the grand final and hopefully picking up that trophy and being the 
the next grand final win and so on. 20 year of anniversary, you kind of wish the players, you know, all the best. You know, you know, the opportunities you've had, you know the memories that you've got. I've also been there and lost, so I know it's not a great place to go and lose, but you know, whatever happens as a player, you know, you want to go out there, you want to create history and uh, make your mark on the game.